hello and welcome back YouTube. I'm your host VLG, coming back with another video. I have another keyboard case review for you for your Mini 6. I would like to believe I have found the golden goose. I have found On the perfect product. I have the one that will fill your needs in all your life. I've done plenty of keyboard case reviews in the past, folding keyboards. I have reviewed everything from China to India to South America. After my journeys, I have found the one. The one, the only, the only thing in your life can make your life complete. This is a Soyo P Magnetic 360 Rotating iPad Mini 6 Keyboard Case. Let me say that again, Magnetic Keyboard Case. You can pick this off Amazon right now for $80, $10 plus shipping. It takes about three weeks to get here, but trust me, this is worth it. This is completely worth it, in my opinion. You see that? These are all the gestures you can do with the trackpad. I'm not even lying to you. These are all gestures you can do. You are given a gracious type A to C USB-C charging cable. Opening it up, you are given four rubber feet on the bottom. It's kind of like a piano black. It's kind of glossy a little bit. It has smudges. It's a smudge finger. Not as bad as a snug. It's just whatever I do with the snug doesn't come off. Trackpad aside, don't ever buy a snug. Granted, it's a decent keyboard case for the price, but after this new one that came out, it's just no competition. Everything I've told you in the past, this thing is a godsend. When you open it up, you are given a gracious trackpad. The snug one holds the iPad via plastic holders on the side. With this one, it's all and magnetic, which I love. I only know of a couple devices out there that actually take advantage of the magnets on the back of the Mini 6, which my travel case has that. But this one, all you have to do, slide it in. The magnets will do the rest. This is the only device I know that feels this premium. With it being premium, you are given premium features. This thing is not going to fall off. It's not going anywhere. You have magnets on the bottom, on the back. It's not going anywhere. When you open it up, only gripe is if you pull from the plastic from the back, your iPad will fall off just because the magnets on the top are fairly weak. So if you actually do open it, open from the iPad upwards just to avoid any droppage. If you look at the outline of the case, it hangs off the iPad. It, it took me a minute to see it, but the case itself is maybe a millimeter or two bigger than the iPad. Granted, it doesn't really do anything. It's just something I've noticed. I just wanted to show. The, the keyboard is actually thinner than the iPad, which blows my mind. They put all that into such a small pad. Package. One of the other small nitpicks I have about this is, is if you hang it more than, let's say, 120 degrees, the weight of the iPad more significant than the case of it being so thin, it just kind of falls over. I don't really believe anyone will be typing like this particular angle, but this is just some little nitpick I have with it. The neck will rotate 360 degrees because it also has seven or eight different modes for transformation. Raise the weight is a feature with this, which I figure it might not be just being this good. When you close the device, the keys do not actually touch the iPad. You have the stoppers in the front, close on the iPad. I do recommend traveling with a case with this, just so you don't get any dust or anything in the iPad for the keyboard. You do have that gap, but it charges your Apple Pencil with a sleeve. I only know the Sug one does this. Yeah, this thing is amazing. I really, really like this keyboard case. The pros outweigh the cons. You have seven different modes for transformation for the tablet. This is like a drawing mode, which some people might actually take advantage of this because it's more secure on the desk. It's not going to go anywhere just because it's angled down, which is good. You can turn it around. You have, I believe this is called viewing mode. If you want to watch videos, I, I don't even know what this is called. It will not charge USB type C to C. I'm getting no wattage out of it. So it will only actually charge type A to type C, which can throw some people off. But when you actually do plug it in and charge it, the power button turns a color for charging. It turns purple. That's actually a good thing, which I I haven't seen anyone else actually implement that. So that's actually really nifty in my opinion. With you are actually given a real full size trackpad, you can actually change the speed of it through your settings, through Apple, through general. So if you can go faster or slower, just cause you are given a real trackpad. You have gestures you can do for one finger, two finger, swiping, pulling, dragging, navigating, multitasking. You can click and drag pictures, text, cut, copy, paste with it. But one finger gestures work flawless. Two fingers even work better. You can swipe back and forth, up and down, pinch to zoom. You are given pinch to zoom. Let me repeat that, pinch to zoom. 
you can swipe back and forth between web pages, which I didn't really know you could do that. You have three finger gestures. You can go home. Multitask. You have multitasking you can do with this keyboard case. You can close applications. Everything you can do with the Apple Magic Trackpad, you can do with this. You can switch between apps. You can do everything. And this trackpad is big. It doesn't creak like the snug one. It's big. It's nice. Premium. A lot. Because I've used the snug one for a while. Just showcasing navigation, scrolling between the two of them. The snug one was really gimped. The trackpad was an afterthought. But with this keyboard case, the magnetic one on the left, it was actually thought of ahead of time and effort put into it really shows. You actually have no creaking with the magnetic one on the left. snug one the middle part of the bottom of the trackpad was hollow so if you press it it creaks a little bit and it just it just feels hollow just comparing both of them for about an hour or so the magnetic one is just that much better and snug false advertisement because you are given backlit with colorful rainbows which i i've wanted this for a while i love rgb keyboards i actually have this finally the snug one is actually much thicker it's probably about two millimeters thicker than the magnetic one on the it still blows my mind how thin it is is. The trackpad is huge. Comparing the size of the trackpad between Snug and the Magnetic one, I even threw my other one up for a comparison. This one's tiny. Don't ever use it. You have a glossy plastic feel to it. This one is smooth. It just, I can't describe how premium this is. Interacts like this was actually thought of as the main when they built this keyboard case. The key layout of the keyboard is different. They are not squarish. They are rectangular, which is good because they are longer, but they are a little bit skinnier. I find typing on this to be a little bit more precise and a little bit quicker. It's a little bit cramped, but you have a keyboard for an 8-inch tablet. So the snug one, it's not bad. It's not good. It's meh best. But after using the Magnetic one for the last couple days, it blows my mind how good this is. You have premium features. You have a premium track. You have premium backlit. The iPad attaches via magnets. I can't describe how this is. It is the best keyboard case out there. I still find the Greenlaw one slightly better for typing, but that's my own personal opinion. But this one is equally as good, if not close to maybe being better. It just, it's really that good. Also, I recommend buying this magnetic paper, the magnetic field viewer. Like if you ever have products, you ever want to see magnets on the back of them, you can pick this off Amazon for 30 bucks. I was sent to this by Metasino. I've worked with them in the past. Their products are really good, not appreciated enough. If you ever wanted to see the mag magnets on the back of your devices or some of the internals, this little piece of paper will show you for $30. And like this bottle opener, MagSafe accessory I've done in the past, Base Plus, they, they're a really underappreciated company. So you can pick this off Amazon for 30 bucks right now, which I really highly recommend. They make good quality MagSafe accessories and it's that game back. The only grab about this case is, as you can see, there's a lot of magnets on the bottom of it, but on the top, there's only showcase in that. I don't ever recommend putting too much force on the top of the case because your iPad might slip out a little bit. But the magnet magnets on the bottom are a lot more secure they're more stronger so if you ever drop this you won't have as much drop protection especially if it hits the top of the case the magnets will give out your ipad will probably give away but going forward if you open it open from the ipad now the back not the back lip of the case just going forward. i do recommend this keyboard case you've heard me say premium premium premium. Granted, this case is $90. It's 30 bucks more than any, any of the other ones, which are generally, they sit about 40 or 50 bucks. This is $90. You are given premium features, premium backlit, holes aren't via magnets. The trackpad is premium. The snug one was okay. Your trackpad was an afterthought. This trackpad was thought of before they built this case. Like premium, premium, premium. This case is truly premium and by far the best one out there. So like always, I'm your host, VLD, signing out.